all of our all of our names mean something, don't they? Does anyone here know what their name means? Or well, just before you tell me yours, my name's Kim, and my name means head chief. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Adelaide, what's your name mean? Noble. Noble. Penny. Duck. It does. Penelope means duck or weaver. And that's pretty cool too, I reckon. And Sammy's name means God has heard. So we all have names and they all mean something. And our name tells the world something about us, doesn't it? It tells us where we fit in, who we are, and what we are like. And in today's passage, we meet a woman and she has a really strange name. And her name is Babylon. She is a really nasty lady, actually, and she's totally opposed to God. She's totally against God. She actually wants to take God's place. Now, her name sounds like another word we read about in the Bible, doesn't it? Can anyone tell me what that word might be yet, Dan? Yeah, so Babylon is the city, but it actually represents sin as well, doesn't it? All right, sin, it describes my heart and my action that I want to be God and I want to take God's place. It's quite confronting, isn't it? By our own nature, we actually want to be with the woman. We want to be against God and what he stands for. But thankfully, God loves us so much, doesn't he, that we know he gives us a new name, And he gives us a new name because he sent his son Jesus. And the name that Jesus gives us, he gives us because he lived, he died and rose again, and instead of having the name of sin or sinner, he gives us the name that we are sinner forgiven. Isn't that wonderful? Yep. Very good. Well, before we get our um, kid sheets, I'm just going to get Adelaide to say a little prayer for us. And then we'll get our kids' sheets. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for taking our sins away. Help us to follow you and always make your name great. Amen.